The Big Mountain Enduro is a race series with six races across the U.S. And the newest venue is Shepherd Mountain in Ironton, Missouri. With five physically demanding stages filled with rocks, mud, and steeps. All combined together. I couldn't miss out on this opportunity, so I signed up and impatiently waited for three months. It's go time. Huge thanks to Eminent Cycles, Take a Hike Shop, and Terrain Magazine for supporting the channel. We arrived in town and went to pick up our registration package, which included our race plate, timing chips, and two free six shirts. This was our first of two days of practice riding, and then after that it would be race day. This is an enduro race, so no shuttles. So we decided to only do two runs each day to conserve our energy. And trust me, these are some tough climbs. First run down the mountain, we decided to hit Cannonball. Cannonball is one of the rockiest trails on the mountain, and it's going to be a pretty tough one during the race. Yeah, do you want to drop this or try and go with it? Just scrub over it. Woo! Hit my crank! We good! Finding the right lines during a race is one of the most important things to do. Oh, well, that's actually a good line. So you always want to make sure you got your lines memorized. Take this part. Oh my gosh, that's muddy. Woo. <laughs> Don't want to do that in the race. We thought that Omen 26 was gonna be in the race, but turns out it wasn't. But at least we still got a fun lap down a fun flowy trail. I can't wait to come back later and try and draw these burns. And I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie Let me remind you They was blocking the shot oh, Now I think it's I my time that. too Careful them dollar signs Like lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind too Back when I was broken Yo. I couldn't acquire two cents And now I got two rents They were sleeping on me, homie Cause oh, they got too big <laughs> Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new Smell like can too I'm fresh forever like can food Try and tell me Woo. what I can't do I wanna see the world My vision on share mood I mean I got goals that's real big Goals that's real big Your offer too little Oh, dude, that's one of my new favorite trails. That was an awesome run. Element 26 is definitely my new favorite trail. The berms are just built perfectly, and there's not a dull moment down the mountain. Coming into day two, we had one main goal, and that was to get comfortable on the features down Cannonball, as on race day, there was a good chance it was going to be raining while we did this run, and it was going to be the hardest run of the day. Right on! Brody hadn't even seen this trail yet, so I decided to weed and tow him into the features. That's it, you don't want to come in too fast, otherwise your back wheel will get kicked up. Yeah, you gotta really pick your line good. Oh yeah! Taking off features one by one. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Oh. He's lucky that rock didn't end his day. This one wouldn't be bad if it was in the dry. This steep shoot to left-hander was quick to become the hot topic of the racers. <laughs> the jump line at the end of this trail is an absolute blast to hit, and it's so fun to session. Yeah. You got real screwy in those case, the shark fin. The Sponsor City is an awesome place to chill out after you're done with your runs. You can check out products at Sponsor's Tents, meet with pros, get some good food, or get your bike work done at a mobile bike shop. I got to talk with one of the fastest enduro racers on the planet, Richie Rude. Tomorrow, you'll start here, climb to and up the mountain, and head down your first stage. I am beyond excited and terrified for what race day holds. With increasing chances of rain, the tension was high, but the stoke was higher. So let's go get some rest so that we are fully fueled up for tomorrow morning. The next morning, we woke up super early so that we could get to the race on time.
It was officially time to start the race, and I was super nervous, but also excited. Oh, number 337 out of Louis, Missouri, Justin Did you actually think I was going to ride off the stage the correct way? Brody drops in a minute later. It's a pretty long ride from town to the top of the mountain. We got to the top of the mountain and awaited to drop in on stage one, Mineshaft. Mineshaft is an awesome mix of tech, flow, and speed. So, I'm excited for this. Bit of a slow start, but I held it together. I was flying through these deep chutes. Definitely my favorite part of the trail. This loose free route was brand new for the race, and of course it was on the only trail that I didn't free ride. Pretty bummed about gaining so much time there, but I'm pretty sure most people did. Wait, was that the finish line or is it up ahead? With run one done, I was feeling pretty good. The goal for this race was never to place well, but less the finish. As even coming from some of the pros, this was one of the hardest courses on the Big Mountain Enduro. We headed up for another run, but this time with a few more friends. Cannonball has got to be one of the most exhausting trails on the mountain, as you will come out of this stage with some serious leg and arm pump. Fast start, feeling good. I was feeling really fast on this trail. This rock slab is really hard to keep your speed on, but I feel like I had a pretty good line. This is where the arm pump starts to kick in. Oh dude, I'm tired. Bad lines, good time. This part is steep. The camera does it zero justice. Chilling out a bit before dropping in on stage three. This run has a super narrow rock chute deemed the coin slot, which I was unsure if I even wanted to risk my derailleur to hit it. At least I got through without putting a foot down. Whoops, forgot that roll was there. At this point, I'm just holding on to the handlebars and hoping I don't crash. Here comes the coin slot. Aha, my poor crank. Still faster than walking. With stage three done, it was time to move on to the hardest trail of the day, and it was starting to drizzle, so we better get on the move. Cannonball is a double black diamond filled with features and gnar. I bet $20 that this trail is responsible for the most injuries of all the trails. I set off with one main goal in mind, survive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, 
I'm sorry. Here's the wooden roll. Yeah, yeah. I'm just a little different. Hit the rock tail. Okay, okay, okay. They ride and raise me. I'm up on the cruise. Yeah, yeah. You feel like me? Sadly, I got offline, lost my speed, and couldn't get this drop. All is still good, though. Even the cabbie couldn't move like a moon. Yeah, yeah. You think you're how it looks? Creeping up to the elephant rock drop. Fresh to death, and it came out of the tomb. That's good. Got it clean. Different type of gratitude. Don't be sour, got my power from the beat. The camera does not show how rocky and steep this stuff is, but if you've ridden the trail, you know. No wonder why that's just my attitude. Yeah. This is where the trail turned into a waterfall. Yeah, this is my attitude. The river. Yeah, I don't blame you. If I was you, I'd probably be getting mad at too. Rolling up to the steepest part of the trail, and I saw it, it only got worse. That's just my attitude. Okay, okay, that's, that's, that's just my. I'm sorry, homie. I don't mean it. Heck yeah. yeah well, go music. And when you shoot your shot and make you your target, uh, you're getting got the one to take all your pockets. Oh, hey, it's a gift. I avoid all the nonsense. Yeah, don't be a hater. It's no good for your conscience. Yeah, you from this world. I'm from somewhere far beyond it. Yeah, matter of fact, I don't even belong here. Cause I, I, I got a different type of swag to do. You ain't gonna find nobody like me on your avenues. Better come get me while you can. I'm just passing through. Ask me how I get this good. Oh, you the reward for finishing the rock gardens is a sweet jump line. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, baby, that's just my attitude. Yeah. I don't blame you. If I was you, I'd probably be getting mad at too. I cannot tell you how relieved I was to be still in one piece at the bottom of this trail. Fueling up on a honey bun before making the final trek to the top of the mountain. I'm ready. Since this is the last run of the day, I thought it would be fun to mix it up and commentate over this trail like a sports announcer. Woo. Coming through with a strong start, pedaling out of the gate. Carrying your momentum is the name of the game on this trail. Flat corners, carrying speed. Slowing down a bit through this part of the trail. This part of the trail is still pretty mushy, so lots of riders are having a tough time through here. Bunny hopping the rotten log. Ooh, getting sketchy through there, had to put a foot out, but he saves it. Hopping in and out of the gully, carrying speed perfectly. Almost waxes handlebars on a tree. That one would have been a disaster. Picking up speed once again, and coming into the mud box. This part is hard for riders to find traction, but one of the beans seems to carry through it decently. Coming up on the first steep roll of the trail. Picking a good line and carrying speed. Picking a good line through the rock garden. Picks the perfect line through here and rolls through it perfectly. Yeah. This part was go. a scary part of the trail for most of the riders. You get up. At this point, it seems that his brakes are fading, but he's carrying through and carrying momentum. Hopping in and out of the sketchy mud-filled gully. A little bit of mud on the lens, but that's not going to stop him. Coming into the final stretch of trail, flying through the creek bread, and one MTB has finished the race. Oh, I'm done. I cannot even begin to explain to you how excited I was to finish the hardest race I had ever embarked on. As our friends yeah. made it to the bottom, we were just so stoked to have finished. As we rode back to town, we were finally in the clear with no injuries this weekend. Well, almost. <laughs> we made it back, chilled out, and watched the award ceremonies. Congrats to the local Connor Kassler for getting on podium, and a huge shout out to Brody for getting 6th place. I ended up standing in 9th place, which I am still super stoked about considering that this was only my second enduro race. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video. If you've made it this far in the video, you probably enjoyed watching it. So might as well give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the algorithm and helps my channel. So consider. Also, for all your bike shop needs, head over to Take a Hike Shop. Or if you're not in the St. Louis area, head over to TakeAHikeShop.com. And as always, you know what to do. Tread for life. Peace.